artist from Brownsville, Texas, uh, born and raised in the Rio Grande Valley. My artists focus a lot on like the natural resources here, such as like the native ecology and also like characteristics of growing up in a Latino Hispanic household. A lot of my work focuses on the inspiration of memory and family. I quoted Santa Marasa, artist from Gainesville, Texas. I don't know, check her out. When you think of home, you think about your mother. She was created, she conceived you, and gave you life. Like Medea, women is life to think. As the plant renews and sustains life, woman procreates and maintains. The Medea is the symbol of home or hogar. So in her work, she uses the like, aloe vera or maguey plants, but the way she talks about home, you know, you think of mothers, you think of females. I grew up in a very strong matriarchal household. And we've always been big on collecting photos. So these are image transfers that I do that with a press and like clear gloss spray on inkjet papers. This is some of my general work. It's very focused on like highlighting the women and family lineage from my family <laughs> on my mother's side. So a lot of image transfers and cyanotypes, collage, textile, close-ups. A lot of this is thrifted items that just kind of remind me like you go shopping like, oh, this reminds me of so-and-so, I'm gonna get it for them. So that's a lot of my work. In terms of print making, I do a lot of birds, natural inspired stuff, I guess you could say. With black and white, I feel like sometimes color could be a little too much and I, I like the simplicity with just black and white, highlighting the shapes and the line work. There's wood block, and highlighting again like the water resources like the sacas and the palm trees that you see a lot of brown too. Throughout this idea of memory and like documenting, it's like captures what's in your surroundings. So in my case, it's nature and the people, their stories, objects. In this case, this is a monotype print of just plants I found and I just explored with colors and foliage. And I, this was for an exhibit I recently did in Laredo. It was regarding migrant deaths in South Texas with Border Patrol and checkpoints. and Unconsciously, I did like war patrol colors, you know, it's like you think about it, the uniforms like match the landscape, right? Purposely so, unfortunately. In regards to like environment and like observing how we all like engage everyday life is connecting to like Small is Beautiful, the book that the library is like highlighting this semester. In his book, Small is Beautiful, he argued that the capitalism brought higher living standards at the cost of deteriorating culture. His belief was that natural resources should be conserved led him to conclude that the bigness in particular large industries and large cities will lead to depletion of their resources. We're actually currently seeing this a lot in Brownsville with SpaceX and LNG. And this also takes part culturally, like Alder had mentioned in the previous talk, how we just, I feel like, take for granted the things we do around the house, like excessively using like our light bills, water usage, you know, or recycling, just throwing away things as we go. You know, you want to take care of your home, you want to take care of yourself and like keeping everything like sustainable. One of the pieces that we have here today are like Desplazarse en Tus Hogares or Brownsville, Texas, San Benito. And it's like this idea of growing up between two homes, always seeing this different contrast. Once again, seeing how people have different habits. Like my mom was always big on recycling the plastic bags and using them for different things. Mm -hmm. around the house instead of buying trash bags you just use that or having tote bags when you go to the grocery store and my grandmother she was always making your own things like making your own clothes repairing your own stuff washing things by hand with your dishes or your clothes and air drying it like the sense of resourcefulness and with this idea of home it's like things you hear like little folklore stories or like looking back at i guess like everyday stuff so like for us, it's like moths. You see like this black moth. I don't know. Sometimes it can be scary. You walk out of your house and you see it at the door. <laughs> My grandma also you know, would be like, oh, it's like someone's going to die soon or someone's died and they're visiting us. And we're always Catholic. So it's like always in prayer or morning or making sure someone gets better. So I did like a time of faith or tiempo de fe con la pollina moth and a rosary. You know, it's like kind of blend into this old like folklore story narratives that I've encountered. And a lot of my work is based in printmaking, relief print, general term of printmaking. You cut away the excess and what stays behind is like this elaborate stamp and you can print multiples. And the beauty of printmaking, everyone can have a print. It's not just like a drawing or a painting. It's, you know, you could make so many and you could share with people around you. So this is kind of like how I start. Traditionally, you draw it out real nice and then transfer it. But I like to draw on the actual surface, and this is linoleum. These are carving tools. 
they're like little shovel knives, I guess the way to say it. A lot of the imagery I use is from hearing people's stories, observing how people go about using objects, symbolism like animals, colors, textiles. This is how I actually carve it, you know, I drew it out, put it in to see where I cut, and you just that's how I carved into a stamp. It's again like kind of like troubleshooting like where to place the composition because everything starts in reverse the way you print it. It flips. And from this creative process of print, I've been trying to move into more installational work, like trying to create, bring the environment to the person. With what I have to work with. So instead of thinking out of the box, think in the box. See what is around you, and that's another way of being resourceful. Whether it, like you're not in school anymore, it's like how do I print? Oh, you need to print by hand with a spoon. Or you want to create, you need to wash your clothes. You don't have your dryer working. Well, you air dry it, you know, with the fan or put it outside somehow. So I, that's why I created like this installation of like highlighting my grandma's routine, washing dishes in the morning around the kitchen. And I always see the curtains coming through the light and whatnot. So I just recorded it to kind of remind like the idea of home in the morning, just doing things around the house or laundry outside. Um, and this image here is an installation I did in Laredo with Cultivarte Laredo Residency back in September. It was just encapsulating like the textures that we see in the South Texas landscape. And within that collage, it had like um, descriptions regarding like death that takes place in the shrublands between the river and the checkpoints. And it, it was interesting to see how people interacted with that because they came up with more stories about like living out in the boonies, you know, or like in South Texas. Hence, sharing and learning more about our culture. Oh, inspiration for this show was Vesna Favoni. She was in Uncovered Spaces last year at IMAS. Uh, she did these beautiful projection installations where she had her own photo archives or videos mixed with stuff that she would find at thrift stores or people would give them to her, hence inspiring this piece. So I played with like a curtain that I have from home. I have a bunch of these. I've always been obsessed with these intricate patterns and I decided to project it. And I've actually started video journaling it's like the, like what we see on TikTok or Instagram, right? But it's amazing like what we could do with our phones, you know, like sometimes we can't afford a camera, you know, or have like all this fancy stuff on our computers. So I just worked with what I had to capture what was going on around me. So yeah, it's just like highlighting the Rio Grande Valley through this perspective of resourcefulness, working with what we have and making the best of what we can instead of producing more unnecessary things such as trash or damaging the environment and whatnot. And so yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.